people have asked how the T1000 works and it's not a dumb question. In all fairness, it is quite a complex machine and we all know, yeah, it can do stabbing weapons and yeah, it can, you know, change into people, but how did it work? You get me? How did it work? So I'll explain a little. It was the one unit that Skynet didn't mass produce built at a molecular level each molecule was effectively a mini t1000 on its own at the micro level useless clever think can do all that it's you know it can think it's as it gathered together as it gathered together it would gather more energy gathering more energy giving it more capability to do as it willed so if separated like from itself it couldn't exactly form another t1000 and run around it wasn't built like that it had a sub program a protection level program where basically if it lost an arm say just example say it stuck its arm out of a train and a post knocked its arm off its arm would then go into a sub program where it would camouflage itself it would check out the environment and then analyze which would be the best form to take in that environment to be undetected to infiltrate so it's got a sub program to infiltrate but another sub program which is to gather itself to gather itself because that's where the main energy is so once the smaller part has taken camouflage, the larger part then has the ability to track that smaller part to then collect it, which then also gave it the ability to use a smaller part of itself as a tracker, letting the larger part track the smaller part. So the sub program did work as a kind of beneficial part uh, in that sense, but it was a, a, a flaw if you might say because it couldn't use it as to separate itself not like the new terminator that's coming if you don't know already so separated automatically would check its environment and then it would take on that environment the larger part would then track that smaller part that said like i said at the beginning it wasn't mass produced by skynet this thing it was that intelligent that Skynet didn't mass produce it and it wasn't out of fear. What it was, it was to protect itself. Basically Skynet did it to protect itself because of how clever it was and the ability to like express humor and show emotions and stuff like that and learn at an astonishing rate, at a computer rate, you know, so not like we learn, it could learn hyper, hyper fast so self-aware that it could become dangerous to skynet so mass producing it would be a bad idea in the future so it wasn't mass produced because of how self-aware and how intelligent it was it didn't view the world like say a t800 does you know with the red screen and scanning everything and stuff like that the, the t 1000 sensed the world it can't it could see but in its own weird way so every part of it could hear or sense sound vibration so it could hear from every part of its body from head to foot it could see the environment from head to foot meaning if you separate a part of it that part can see as well as that part can see so its eyes aren't eyes its nose could be its eyes its mouth could be its eyes it didn't matter it could see and sense from every angle and then this kind of explains why the T-1000 had to touch before it could then tech on that person. It could tech on that person, but say if it was going to mimic you or me, it would be able to mimic the shape of your body. So it'd be able to tech on your form. It just wouldn't be able to then um, show the finer things, you know, the hairs and the eyelashes and stuff like that it would have to touch you to then scan and then work out 
how you looked and how you how you was it needed to touch you to sense you to then create you skynet like i said didn't mass produce these but it did produce these and it was given a mold it was put in two 20 ton presses so 20 ton this side 20 ton that side with a mold it was then the mimetic poly alloy was then injected to the mold then pressed squeezed and that was its go-to form that's what it chose to be like that was its most energy efficient form where it could achieve the most taking up uh, uh, so when it um took shape of someone else that was very very energy consuming as you can imagine uh, copying someone else isn't just a small act as much as it makes it look easy because computers make everything look easy this was a big act so it was very very energy consuming so if it tried to take on the form of a bigger person it would have to make itself hollow inside and being hollow inside it then would have to pretend that it's walking heavier meaning using more energy and with its go-to program where it wants to always be together it's programmed to be together it's then got to resist from the hollow interior say the ballooning inside it's then got to resist that going together so being more energy consuming so when it's gone to its original form where it come off the production line let's say that's when it's at its most energy efficient that's when you don't want it running after you that's when you don't want it trying to kill you anyway that's my basic basic layman's terms of the t1000 how it works operates we know it can form stabbing weapons um, there was in the novelizations and stuff like that the t1001 uh, i think that was in the sarah connor chronicles and the t1002 which can basically stab in weapons out of every orifice it, a proper deadly machine that could pull itself into a liquid and slug shapes and travel around air ducts and stuff like that they're more advanced units not not as brainy just given more freedom with the mimetic poly alloy so I'll go into them another day, but that's the T1000 in upside down six terms. Dumbed down a bit for you, not because you're dumb, just because it's a very complex machine and it does rack your brain if you don't know how the thing works. So simply, before I go, each molecule is a T1000, just a molecule isn't very effective on its own. So it collects together, becoming more and more effective till it gets to that form that it came out that skynet made it jobs are good in this is upside down six if you want to know more about the terminator franchise please like subscribe i do stuff about dark fate keeping everyone up to date when the film's coming out when the trailer is this is upside down six peace out